What's up? So, <clears throat> the other day, I saw some guy on one of the Facebook groups, curious how to set up his pipeline and stuff and all that good stuff. And I got another purpose for you on your articulation wire. So I use this stuff uh, to do articulated trout flies because it's nice and stiff and flexible and it's like 30 pound test American fishing rate wire, right? So we're going to make a leader out of that. And before we do that, I'm going to show you how to set up a fly line, I guess. So nowadays these come like welded loops. I don't actually like, like the welded loops. I don't know why they do that. It's easier, I guess. But I like to do terminal connections, so I'm going to have like 7 inches of mono or fluorocarbon or something nail knotted to my fly line with a perfection loop to attach my leader. So this is just some Airflow Streamer Max 300 grain, something like that for my 9 weight. And I'm going to take 30 pound fluorocarbon. I don't know, let's do a foot and a half. I don't know how smooth this is going to go. I only do this like once or twice a year. But nail knot tool. These are worth getting, especially if you have like, I don't know, five rods, six rods, two rods, three rods. However many rods you have, they're useful. I use them, even though I only do this once every two years. So, long end goes towards the back of the tool. Short end, which is going to be your butt end, right, goes to the front. Basically, you pinch it on the side, and then you just catch it and wrap it over itself. One, two, three, four, five. I need a longer butt. So what is this? Probably six inches of tag end here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times or so. And then you thread it back down through the tool. Of course I can't show you this stuff. I'm just telling you, right? And then you pull it off to the side here. And you can kind of catch it all with your thumb. I like to put a little bend in the fly line so when you put it through your tool, it sticks up onto this flat part here and that's where you're gonna pinch that down with your thumb right and then ideally you just yank it off <laughs> this is horrible but there's your nail knot right it's pretty trashy well what that or something good to go. It's not perfect. Man, that kind of sucks. Trim your butts. So boom, there's your nail knot, right? I would just Google it. The nail knot tool comes with the diagram on how to do it. That'll hold. Go up about seven inches and just throw a perfection loop. So a loop away, loop on your side, cross the loops and pull them through, and then your tag end sticks out at 90 degrees, right? So that's a terminal connection right there. Mm. About two inches longer than normal. Whatever. I don't really care. So that, there you go. And then what you're going to do is when I do like a pike leader, I don't care. I don't tape or anything. I don't, like whatever. I'm just fishing pike. And this is a full sinking line if you got an intermediate or whatever. Maybe you can go a little shorter or a little longer, whatever you're doing. But I honestly probably do three and a half foot, maybe four feet max. And basically all you have to do is perfection loop it and then you can loop to loop on your terminal butt and then what we're going to do when we make this leader is we're going to basically weld the loop into it so that you can loop to loop it to this three foot section here so you put your loop over your loop put one loop over the other loop and then you put your butt up through the loop that you went over and that's a loop to loop right so now we got about a three and a half foot leader here 
And then we're going to take our beetle on, 49 strand, 0 0.024 inch diameter. Bow. Be quiet. Let's take about two foot or so of that, two and a half feet. I like my leaders to be just over a foot, anywhere like that, I don't know. I'm going to take a nice snap. I like these guys just because they fit all my eyes. They're the simple ones, nothing too crazy. You can put this in your vise, right? And basically what we're going to do is we're going to thread this through here. And because this is nylon coated stainless steel, we're honestly just going to melt the nylon together. So take this. I like to use my hackle pliers to hold this nice and tight up in there. Eh, maybe we won't need to, we'll see. But you wrap this five or six times. The more you wrap it, the more you can probably feel comfortable it ain't going anywhere. And then you just take this lighter and you just want to let it bubble. Any more than that, and you did too much. Lick your fingers, smooth it out, boom. Then you got a leader attached to a snap. Now if you're cool, which I'm not cool, but if you're cooler than me, you'd have shrink tubing. And you could put shrink tubing down this end, slide it up, and then melt it over this knot. That's actually pretty close there. I'm not too worried about it. I've used liquid, liquid electrical tape over this, which has worked to some degree. But for a liter, that's not going to last that long. It's not a big deal. So then basically what I want to do, right, is I want to put a loop in this other end here. It's a pretty good long leader. So basically you're going to put your loop here, however long you want your loop. Let's see how am I going to do this. Ah, that's when the hackle pliers come in handy, I think. So basically you're going to make your loop, right? You're going to pinch this loop together. And you can just kind of hang your hackle player somewhere over this vise somehow, some way. You'll figure it out. You guys are smart. You'll figure it out. And then you can just wind this leader around itself five or six times, whatever you did on the last one. Not that they both have to be the same or even or whatever. Do whatever you want. Then you torch that again. Don't hold it up too long. You don't want to burn the nylon, you just want to melt it, right? I just melted it to my fingers on that one. Felt good. Felt good. Huh. I got enough left over to articulate a fly. You know, if you're going to make like three or four of these, I'd measure them all out the same, do them all the same, but whatever. This is just showing you. So you got melted nylon, stainless steel, boom, leader, right? Then you take your three foot section, put a big old perfection loop in it. Okay, that's a pretty small perfection loop. Tie it bigger if you want. Does not matter. Does not matter. And then basically, you can thread your big, ugly pike leader and loop to loop it. And then when you go to attach this, this is an important part. It's going to want to like double over itself. And before you pinch that down, because you'll hurt the wire, flip this loop. This is hard to show. Flip that loop up so they cinch down like two circles. And now you got, I don't know, foot and a half, 35 pound steel leader, three foot of 35 pound fluorocarbon, and then you can just clip that sucker onto whatever fly you want to throw, you know? Good to go. Marabou T bone here. <sighs> show, them what's, show them how it's done. Eat me. So, what's up? What is that? Nine minutes? That took me nine minutes? Wow, that sucks. Sorry.
Sorry I gotta talk so much. Heh, <laughs> this is sweet. I died this today. It's a baller. It's a marabou. Marabou. T bone. Mini T bone. Sexy.